Mars, one of man. these main contenders for for Pokemon trainer, and definitely one that's uh, more more known for his uh, prowess with Charizard. Yeah, no, for sure. Pape is definitely one of those uh, newer Pokemon trainers coming into play um, and getting really great performances as of recent. But yeah, again, taking out early in losers. So uh, let's see what he can do against Mars here. This is a great opportunity for him to get another great win on his belt. I know I believe he did take out uh, uh, Samford, I believe, and another um, top player as well. So it's going to be nice stuff. And again, yeah. Kind of again, starting back on the stage. What is it with Pokemon Stadium 2 today, man? And we're going to see this stage. I mean, I said it during my first block earlier today. I'm just like, do not be surprised if you see this stage a lot throughout Ooh, the weekend. What the that heck? should be the KO. Paralyzer cool into out. the boost kick. That's a uh, sure death for Puppe here. But, like, how did he know to just wait and charge it, Beats. calling out the direction, the, the air dodge Ooh. there? It was coming off from Mars. That's what I'm talking about. Puppe may be the number one in MDVA. He may be 27th on the PGR, but Mars is number three in the world, and that's not going to matter too much to Puppe because he's going to eat that stock up with a back air. Only 50% deficit, not too bad here. Definitely not a bad position. We're just being searching for and you know, that grab with Squirtle. There we go. Give that down throw. Fair there. Probably going to look for another grab. Uh, it's kind of hard. I feel like it's, he's having a hard time getting this grab on Mars here. What he's looking for, going to have to see that switch in a really bad position off stage. Yeah, definitely going to have to see the recovery from the Charizard. And now Charizard uh, uh, Zero Suit. I don't know about this. Yeah, Charizard versus Zero Suit. Zero Suit Sam is a very light character, but Puppy is already at 127%. So the, the Charizard pick makes sense because he's going to be able to survive just a smidge longer. Although, if Mars is able to register any of these hits, it's not going to matter. Lower uh, top ceiling on this stage, and there's the up smash to cover him on the platform. Yeah, no, uh, Charizard's such a big hitbox there, yeah. too, so that was definitely one of his uh, safer, better options there. And again, look how quick he just added up the damage, 50% already, and Mars is looking so great at the ledge here. Really maintaining his own and in a really good spot up Ooh, to right now. Into the reverse back here, let's go. Seriously, seems so fast, dude, especially against oh, Ivy Sword. She is absolutely wonderful. I mean, sure, she's been a little bit tone. Oh. <gasps> no! Are you serious? Twice? Yeah. Twice he just caught Puppe. He was like, you are going to run right here. I'm yeah. going to charge this down, man, and you're going to lose your life for it. Man. Mars with the incredible read, taking that game man. number one. Beautiful, dude. No, that was a really solid stuff absolutely. coming out from Mars there. Just very, uh, very dominating. Just alone just looks so focused right now. And to be able, like, for both of these players to be you know, so highly respected, uh, Mars just consistently just applying this consistent overbearing presence that he has and taking that too. Um, that was two stock, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, already definitely finally going to see a, a stage switch here to a Smash Oh, yeah. Over. Change of scenery is going to be nice for all of us at home. We're going to hear some different music as well. I love Animal Crossing, so. Yeah, no, I do too, for sure. Okay. Right. It is Saturday too, but it is not nighttime yet in the game, so KK Slider's not quite no, out. Are you the serious? SD, he should have been able to Are live. You serious, no, yeah, that's he absolutely should have lived, and that's gonna cost him a ton, especially with how dominant Mars was in that first game, and he's continuing to rack up this damage in the, in the second game. Yeah, he's just oh, not even letting man. Puppe land right now, just kind of having baiting out uh, these air dodges, following up with everything, and honestly, just being overbearing again, as we're seeing the whole time, and honestly, we've been seeing so many SDs today. What is it with yeah. these players uh, all of a sudden becoming tilted and I or mean, something? Just as a reminder, this is the loser's bracket. Some of you might be wondering, who put Puppe into loser? And it was actually Nito, a local Ryu from SoCal who is unranked yeah. here. And as for Mars, I'll uh, find out shortly and I'll tell you because I, I don't quite know. Yeah, no, Nito he actually beat him with the, the Ken today, which was actually a phenomenal yeah. set. That was actually on this stream, guys. So if you go back earlier and watch that set, uh, that is on here. And that was a beautiful, fantastic set. But anyways, getting back to here right now, though, again, Puppe already with the Zard out. And again, that's going to take the stock. Actually, not, I mean, if he would have had a little more percent, but okay. Okay, back air. That's going to be su uh, substantial for Puppy right here. <laughs> He's trailing by way too much. 131, that whip would have taken his uh, the, the stock off of Squirtle. I mean, what a light character. You don't want to mess with that move right now. Yeah, no. Already down to his last life here in game two. Mars looking like he's taking this 2-0, looking up at a game three already. You know, he was looking for that downer at the ledge, too. Wanted to put him in that tricky uh, situation. Probably a oh, uh, suicide dare. Kick flip. Okay, nice stuff. 
Not going to see the double up air pressure that we were seeing a lot coming out yeah. from Pape earlier. We did get some uh, air dodge uh, frame traps instead, though. Pape uh, baiting out the air dodge with the forward air and landing on him with another hitbox. He's off stage now, tethering back to the ledge. Falling fair Ooh, into the bind is. whip. Up okay, air, clean. beautiful conversion. Yeah, that's what we need to see a lot more from Pepe. Actually, oh, no. you know, Razor Leaf being such a good projectile, and I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I was going to say maybe it's a stage, but we should be it? seeing a lot more of uh, oh, the Razor Leaf. Right. Yep, right. Razor Leaf, such a good tool to zone out your opponents with any let's go off the ledge. Uh, and Mars just ready with the flip kick, getting the spike on Pepe, moving up two. Oh, now, yeah, I'm wondering what Pepe is going to do at this point. I, one. One suggestion that you pointed out, Ares, though, is definitely you should be using the uh, Razor Leaf a little bit more, yeah. right? Especially because he, when he's trying to contest Mars in the uh, up close, right, the close quarter combat, mm -hmm. he, he's just losing. He's losing every time. And, and not only that, but it's like even if he has the slight advantage, Mars can always down B to get out of disadvantage. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, saying. And yeah, he has I, a good projectile of his own as well. Like, put Mars in a situation where he needs to shield more, or where he needs to, you know, I, I feel like Pepe is kind of uh, consistently the one going in here and being really aggressive is what we're seeing. And, and Mars can really just, you know, react to what he's doing and uh, all of his options. He has projectile, She has projectiles of her own as well. So, I don't know, we definitely have to see some type of switch up from Pepe here. If not, this is going to be a quick Three O here, but oh, already opting yeah. for the switch. Yeah, switching okay. to the Ivy sorry ends up off stage. Oh has to tether to the ledge. A landing down air. Yeah, doesn't almost, get the grab he wants though. Yeah, almost getting that tether um, extension off the stage would have been really nice too. He was getting a really nice follow up with the fair again. There's a situation I like how he oh. falls back there. Really nice turnaround from Puppy though. Close All it right. out with the back air. Finding that first stock, taking a first lead here. Ninety one percent, almost losing to that back air. Uh-oh, he gets cut, and what a follow-up with the drop zone Clean. fair. Mars just answering right back, not letting Puppe get away with anything here. Yeah, definitely, there's that down throw into Nair. Beautiful stuff, like to see that at those uh, earlier percents there. Not going to get the uh, up B uh, connection at the edge there, or off stage, excuse me. That's okay, there's up airs coming out. I like the pressure that he's um, putting on Mars right now. Definitely uh, definitely different from what we were seeing the first two Ooh, games, for sure. man, there that Vine Whip almost doing Mars in right here. So much, range. so much range. Pepe has a really good lead right here, back air. Not going to be enough, but another one by the ledge will certainly do it. That F tilt certainly going to do it, and it does, okay. man. Pepe with a solid lead this time around. Yeah, and then the call out with the F tilt there. Really nice stuff from Pepe. Looking a lot better this game, and up a whole stock advantage here. This is definitely what he needs. Uh, and yeah, good pressure with the backer on the shield there. It's also something that I would like to see a little bit more of coming out from Pepe. Such a pretty, a pretty safe move to throw out on shield, so. Okay. okay, nice up, he had a shield. Up special. All right, and I love the way Mars is actually punishing these Pokemon switches, eh? anticipating them and just delaying his follow-up ever so slightly, landing on him with the down air, just keeping this juggle up. All right, fair out of shield from Pepe. Another one, put him off stage. Back air not Back finding the sweet spot. Very Ooh. fortunate for Mars right there. Yeah, wanting that down air there too. Not gonna get it. Honestly, in a, a pretty good position, though. Uh, Charizard's not going to die quite yet here. Pretty chunky. He's going to live. Oh, oh, my God, the up smash out of shield. I feel like yeah. he should have. Uh, I'm so unfortunate that he fell out of it. Yeah, unfortunately, trading with the up smash out of shield, and then Mars bringing it back. Last stock here. Can Mars bring it back? He is down by a substantial amount, but with this caliber of player, he could absolutely eliminate a stock at a very early percent. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Ooh, nice. Pick up. Okay, ooh, almost getting that tether grab. Almost kind of missed spacing that just slightly. Oh, no. Okay. So tether again, waiting for the switch there. Nice patience from <gasps> Mars. <gasps> almost okay. did him dirty. Should have one more jump. He's going to be able to use the upbeat <laughs> to this ledge. Oh, wanting that uh, a grab there. Versal grab, not going to get it. Puppe, actually, this whole situation is pretty much turned around on Puppe. Pretty even right now. Nice. Okay, nice fair out of shield again. We have to see. No, not opting for an edge guard off stage. Probably wants to, you know, stay grounded and opt for uh, the ledge traps. Oh, but my God. That was anything. so close. The up nice. smash out of shield finally taking it. And 
Mars finally dropping a game here to Puppet. No, that's exactly why he probably likes uh, opted for that stage pick. Really nice utilization of that platform. Knew that he could wait with Charizard, be in that position, and take um, advantage of that platform being a, uh, above him there. And up, yeah. yeah, up smash out of shield. Charizard is fantastic. So great connection there. And uh, Puppet going to take it. The first game of the set so far. Yeah, now Mars Whew. up two to one still, so he's got a very uh, solid cushion between him and Puppe. No character counter pick from Mars. He's just gonna stick with the Zero Suit Samus, and we're gonna go to a much smaller stage this time around. That way, he's gonna be able to pressure Puppe much more easily and just kind of like keep him cornered. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure. Okay, yeah, so here we go. Sorry, I had to fix something really quick. All right, here's the Squirtle coming into play here. Really nice fares. Like I would like to see a little bit of use of the Squirt Gun, too. I don't see him really applying uh, too much pressure with that when Mars is uh, at the ledge there. Usually we see that a lot from Squirtle. But instead, just kind of opting uh, for nice aerial options. Narrow shield, the fair is going to get the nice switch to Ivysaur. Not going to get the fine up B. I feel like that should have connected. Unfortunate. Now, unfortunately, it did not connect, but Puppe actually putting on tons of pressure here by the ledge. The neutral air covering so many options. Uh, lingering hitbox, of course. It's just going to last a long time. So no matter what Mars pick, he can kind of just fall onto the stage, cover a jump, cover a roll. Anyways, that's just a beautiful switch, too. A able to invade all of Mars' options there and ended up getting the fair. Okay, that back air getting a little too antsy there. Mars just going to follow up and take the first stock of the set right now. Again, I think uh, we had we started here first, so um, you know, this is definitely Mars counter stage pick, and uh, honestly, it's gonna be really rough for uh, Puppet here. All right, Puppet finally platform. grab on the platform. The nice. up throw is still not gonna be enough. Wow. Not on Smashville. Oh no, oh. dude, that is such he was a grounded tricky for part. So long. I what? mean, uh, Puppet did everything right by all means, right? He uh, threw out that F tilt by the ledge, but it's tricky because Zero Suit Samus has that get out of. A jail free option and Puppy dropping his stock to an SD. But shouldn't uh, the flare blade should have grabbed the ledge there? Maybe it was oh just a little man. too low, Bounced low of an angle. Ledge, yeah, but unfortunately, he wasn't able to use any of his jumps to get back. Just falling like a dead weight, and now he's down three stocks to one against Mars, who has tons of rage. Nice second time there, Puppy. At first, oh let go God. of shield early from the jab. That time, actually holding shield a little bit longer, getting that jab. Nice switch and down throw. Gonna take. The first stock off of Mars, honestly, it's going to be really hard for Puppy um, to bring it back against the top three player in the world. But hey, don't count him out. Absolutely cannot count him out. Mars trying to climb his way back up this bracket right now. Has a solid, solid lead in order to continue doing so. Harassing Puppy on the platform with the up airs. Again, slightly kind of misspacing these up airs. Or Mars is having exceptional DI, being very evasive. Okay, there's that Razor Leaf again. Oh, that grab into the Vine Whip. There we go. Just barely not, uh, barely surviving to that Vine Whip. Not going to be enough to take the stock, but still, uh, you know, setting himself up for, uh, you know, really good positioning and applying um, all that extra damage here. And again, whenever the Charizard's out, it's so oh. scary. Dude, oh, the punish on the switch again. I'm telling you, Mars is ready for it every single time, and he's chasing deep off stage. <laughs> he oh. does it! Mars is a madman. My he God. Went, bet it all right there. You might as well tune into Nairo's stream because <laughs> that's what it does, man. Bet it all. Yeah, no, that was... Uh, Mars with the 3-1 victory over Puppy right Mars, here. Mars, man, what do you do? Puppy uh, in losers only because he lost to Komei, the Shulk.